The Arabian Gulf, or Al Khalij al Arabi in Arabic, lies between the Arabian Peninsula and the southwest part of Asia. It is connected by the Straits of Hormuz to the Arabian Sea, which is the northwest part of the Indian Ocean. It is bordered by Bahrain, Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates. The Arabian Gulf is a shallow body of water with a maximum depth of 360 feet. It is 650 miles long and has a maximum width of 210 miles with an area of about 93,000 square miles. And due to hydrological conditions, it does not develop high waves. Since the Gulf is a shallow basin with an average depth of 35 meters, it has some of the most radical environmental conditions in the world's oceans, including extreme temperature, high UV irradiance, high evaporations, and limited freshwater influx. This resulting in salinities that ranges from 40 to 70 PSU in some bays. The current thermal regime in the Gulf is similar to how the tropical ocean will look like in about 100 years, so we need to understand the different impacts of these extreme conditions on the Gulf in terms of structure and functions of different ecosystems, including the effects on the biodiversity and food webs, which can infer how global warming will affect many tropical ocean ecosystems. You can basically think of the Arabian Gulf as a natural mesocosm. It also harbors highly diverse and productive habitats, including coral reefs, mangroves, intertidal marshes, and seagrass. Did you know that the Arabian Gulf is known for hosting the second largest population of dagoons in the oceans? These dagoons feed on seed grass beds which are widely spread in the Arabian Gulf. The Arabian Gulf is a main source of wealth and food for the people of the Gulf countries. The Arabian Gulf is considered to be one of the wealthiest natural pearl habitats in the world. Pearl oysters are naturally found on relatively shallow banks in the Gulf region. Individual pearls have been found in excavations on deep archaeological sites that date back to at least 7,000 years ago. They are generally located between 11 to 27 meters deep. The pearls were a major source of wealth in the Gulf even long before the discovery of oil. And to the people of the Gulf, pearling offered a major form of employment. Presently, fisheries are the second most important natural resource after oil and gas, and the most important renewable resource. And besides their contribution to the region's food security, fisheries also provide a source of income and cultural heritage to the Gulf's coastal population. The discovery of oil in the late 1930s and the succeeding industrial boom in the 1970s brought enormous wealth to the Gulf region and along with it an intense economic activity. The Arabian Gulf contains an estimated 50% of the world's oil stocks and as a result plays a strategic geopolitical role. Different Gulf states are able to extract and mine oil from different geographical points in the Arabian Gulf. On top of the extreme natural hydrographic conditions mentioned earlier, there are tremendous environmental stresses exerted by the unprecedented industrialization, fossil hydrocarbon exploration and production, shipping tankers that are introducing non-indigenous species, power and desalination plants, and coastal development activities. As shown in this image, the Gulf War oil spill was one of the largest oil spills in history. Purposely opened valves at the Sea Island oil terminal and dumped oil from several tankers into the Arabian Gulf. The other casualty of this war was the planet. The atmosphere was damaged from the fire and smoke which was produced from the explosives, oil fires, and from both known and unknown chemicals. 
The buildup of solid waste polluted the ground and caused groundwater contamination. All these types of pollutants also affected the marine ecosystem, from mammals to birds and fish. Qatar University has a long history of dedication to study the marine environments of the Gulf. Early in the 1970s, it was apparent to the state of Qatar that studying the marine coastline that extends for about 700 kilometers and using its valuable resources is very crucial. Mukhtabar al-Bihar was the first oceanographic research vessel that was commissioned in 1982. Then recently, it was replaced by the research vessel Jinan, which is a generous donation presented by His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani. It is for Qatari environment researchers and marine studies. The Department of Biological and Environmental Science is the only department in the country that offers undergraduate and postgraduate degrees in environmental science with concentration in marine science. It has also built strong collaborations on research with many leading institutes on the national, regional and international levels on initiative research that serves the state of Qatar and the society every day. There are many researches that are actively going on in the Department of Biological and Environmental Sciences of Qatar University and in collaborations with the Environmental Science Center and also national and international institutes.